Hi, yo, say, I'm a duck and the channel, Yabri Yayan. This is a Kayan, Bisa Minik Mati, Beba Gay Chirita Chirita, Rasa and Kiddis, Jagan Yupa, and the Pinchet Dumbo to subscribe, then like, then share. Yeah? I got a Kayan set, Yayu, Mandapat Kan Chirita, the Baru. Dimakasi. Hiyo guys, welcome to Yaibari Yayan. Today I'll be reading Rapunzel, based on the stories, story by the brothers. The witch's garden, chapter one. Mr. and Mrs. Rose lived in the small house they looked onto a beautiful garden, a garden they never dared to enter because it belonged to a wicked and powerful witch. There she is, hi! Mrs. Rose would sit by her window and gaze at the garden for hours, but yet she had spent a lot of time thinking about food. Today, I'd like chocolate pudding stuffed with spinach, she decided, and minced the frog. Mr. Rose was, wasn't surprised. Ever since you've been pregnant, he said, you've been wanted to eat the oddest things. Or perhaps, Miss, Mrs. Rose went on, our ah, bananas, Brussels sprouts, and, um, toothpaste. Oh yes, that would be lovely. Yes, I sure asked Mr. Rose. Yes, Mrs. Rose replied, I am. Although I think something might be missing. Worms, Mr. Rose suggested, or maybe you'd like some crushed ants on top. Wait a moment, Mrs. Rose cried, pointing to the witch's garden. That's it. What is it? That vegetable. Ooh, it looks so green and juicy. I must have it. Mr. Rose looks, well, you can't have it. I'm not going to in that garden. The, the witch would would one would eat me alive. If I don't have that pan, I'll die, said Mrs. Rose, and she began to cry. Stop, thief! Chapter 2. I don't like heights. After three hours of sobbing, Mr. Rose gave in. That night he grabbed into the witch's garden. garden. These vegetables all look the same in the dark. He thought, how am I, how am I, how am I meant to know which one she wants? And it's freezing. She, so she grabbed the nearest vegetable and raced her. You stupid shot sausage, cried Mrs. Ro Rose. You've brought me a tinner. You have to go back again. Next time, Mr. Rose looked carefully around the garden. Well, this one has green leaves. It must be right, he thought. But as he pulled it out of the ground, he shuddered. A false smell had crept up his nose. He looked up and screamed. The witch was in front of him. Mr. Rose could smell her disgusting disgusting witchy breath. How dare you steal my Rapunzel? The witch cried. I'll make you I'll make you pay pay for this, you thieving little pimple. I'll eat you alive, she hissed, and na a nasty glint in her eye. I'm sure you'll be very tasty. Pia Pia Please don't eat me, begged Mr. Rose. He was shaking with fear. I was taking it for my wife. She's about to have a b -b baby, he stammered. <laughs> hmm, said the witch thoughtfully. A baby? She paused for a moment. I'll make a deal with you. I won't kill you, and you can have as much Rapunzel as you like. Thank you, thank you. But you must give me the baby as soon as it's born. Mr. Rose was so terrified, he agreed. He looked slowly home, shaking his head with worry. Maybe she'll change her mind, he thought desperately. I must hope for the best. But as soon as his wife gave birth to their daughter, the witch appeared. The child is mine, she, she cried. She gave a wicked grin, and I shall call her a puzzle. After the piano stole, now give! Mr. Mrs. Rose wept and wept, but the witch would not give it. 
Toy take my baby. Too late. The deal is done. She snatched the baby and vanished. The tower. Get me ten shelves for my spell. Rapunzel lived with the witch for eleven years. She was treated the same. The older she grew, the more beautiful Rapunzel became. She had blue eyes and young golden hair. He flowed from the top of her head, down her back, past her feet, and and all along the ground. Rapunzel's getting too pretty," thought the witch. "I have to lock her away. I don't want." Any young man running off with her. On the morning of Rapunzel's twelfth birthday, the witch woke up her early. I have a lovely surprise for you," she said. "We go to the forest for a picnic. The forest was deep and dark. Deep and dark. It didn't seem a good choice for a picnic. In the very middle of the forest stood a tower. I don't like it here," Rapunzel said with a shudder. Get used to it," cackled the witch, "because this is your new home." The witch cast a spell, and Rapunzel found herself in a small room. At the very top of her tower, let me out! I can't live here," cried Rapunzel. "There's no way out. No stairs, no door. You don't need to get up. I just need to get in, and I can climb up your hair. Maybe I won't get you," said Rapunzel. "Then you'll starve," said the witch with a shrug. "Come on, let's try." Rapunzel, Rapunzel, get down your hair. Rapunzel heavied her hair. Out of the window, her young locks tumbled down the tower and landed at the witch's feet. The witch, the witch climbed up the, climbed up Rapunzel's hair and into the tower. Prince Hans, chapter four. I'm so bored. Four years went by. Rapunzel never saw anyone except the old witch. And no one in the world knew where Rapunzel was until one day, this forest is spooky. A young and handsome prince rode through the forest. Rapunzel spotted him from the window. Help! She cried as loudly as she could. Please help me! The prince looked up, astonished. Don't worry, he called. I'll save you. So, spurring on his horse, he galloped to the tower. Prince Hans to the rescue! He called. He rode around the tower three times. Ah,、um, I can't find the door. He said, "There is no door." Rapunzel told him, "This is a magic tower. I'm being kept here by a wicked witch. You must climb up my hair." Well, I've never done never done that before," said Prince Hans. "This this is harder than it looks." You know," he added as he began to climb. "What is your name?" he asked Rapunzel. She repeated. She replied, "Prince Hans, I must fell off her head." Laughing, just what's just what's so funny? Rapunzel asked the asshole to you. You've got the same name as a vegetable," said Prince Hans, still chuckling. "Oh," said Rapunzel, who thought her name was rather pretty. Perhaps I'm too funny to rescue. Not at all," said Prince Hans, as he reached at the at the top of the tower. But how about going to save you? You, the prince," said Rapunzel. "You need to think of something." Prince Hans looked around the room thoughtfully and spotted a pair of scissors. Gosh, I'm brilliant! I know," he cried. "I'll cut off your hair, make a rope, and then we can both climb." Down it, fine," replied Prince Hans. "But you have to come up with a better idea, or your hair gets."、It. Rapunzel thought quickly. Visit me every night and bring a ball of silk with you. I'll weave a ladder from it. But that take ages," said Prince Hans. Rapunzel frowned at him, which isn't a pro. But that take ages," said Prince Hans. Rapunzel frowned at him, which isn't a problem," he added quickly. 
After that, the prince came every evening. He told Rapunzel about his kingdom. I live in a beautiful castle, he said. There are courtyards full of fountains and flowers and turrets that touch the sky. Rapunzel yawned to go there. The witch's trick. As the weeks passed, Rapunzel's yada grew yoga and yoga. Only one more week and I'll be free, she thought to herself. One morning, Rapunzel the rich called from outside. Rapunzel, get down your hair. I have some food for you. As the witch climbed up, she pulled and tugged the paint for ye on Rapunzel's hair. Ow, cried Rapunzel, why do you always talk so much? Prince Hans never hurts me when he climbs. What? Prince Hans, shouted the witch. Who is Prince Hans? You wicked girl, I thought you'd shut away from the world, but you've tricked me. The, the witch seeps into the tower and quickly grabbed a pair of scissors. Scissors. She hacked away at Rapunzel's hair until it lay in a heap on the floor. Anna finished trying to witch with a powerful spell. She cast Rapunzel into the desert. Then the witch waited for the prince. A sly smile on her wrinkle, wrinkled face. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, you have found your hair. That night, Prince Hans called out to Rapunzel as usual. Her hair came shimmering down. But at the top of the tower, he gasped in shock. An ugly old crone stood in her place. Where is Rapunzel? He demanded. Rapunzel's God said the witch, when the cities die off, you'll never see her again. Then the witch yeeled the towel and kissed Prince Hans with her slimy lips. Yuck! cried the prince. It was a magic kiss. Suddenly the prince hands were covered in slime. He lost his grip and fell to the ground like a stone. Prince Hans yelled and smack into a thorn bush. He saved his life, but the sharp thorns blinded him. Ark, I can't see. Despite his pain, I may be behind the shouting on which part I'll find Rapunzel. Never, she tackled. Prince Hans wandered from one seeking Rapunzel. At last, he met a ca camel sailor. He told him about a girl with golden hair, blue eyes, seeing a young in the middle of the desert. Prince Hans heard a driver and the fastest horses he could find. Take me to the desert, he ordered. Rapunzel saw the carriage arrive in amazement as Prince Hans had stumbled out. She ran to him, put her arms around his neck and wept. Two of her tears fell inside into Prince Hans's eyes and he gasped. I can't see, he cried. Rapunzel, he said, I never thought I'd say this to a girl named after a vegetable, but will you marry me? Oh yes, said Rapunzel. Prince Hans took Rapunzel to his castle. The entire kingdom was invited to their wedding, including Mr. and Mrs. Rose. My daughter, Prince Hans and Prince ha Princess Rapunzel and Prince Hans lived happy together for the rest of their lives and in time they had had three beautiful children pumpkin yetis and sprout and bye thanks for watching i hope you subscribe so you can see more videos